CJ5! Wow! Holy sh! You don't just see that every day. You don't see that every day. How's that? That's crazy. What's going on, guys? I'm Darian with DJ Customs. Once again, back at it with the CJ5 videos. Um, last video, if you do recall, we were cutting out holes on the uh, the driver's side, um, patching those up, getting those ready. Um, but today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be cutting out the quarters on the rears. They are rotted out, and um, it's time for them to go. Um, I did get some patch panels for these, so hopefully those end up working. Stay tuned, and let's get into this. I got these patch panels. I found out the hard way that CJ fives and cj sevens bodies are way different yeah i can hold this up here and that's where we're at not right there and there so these are actually really long so back behind here is pretty rotted out this seems fairly solid off there here um so the only really spot that i have to worry about is this right here um so what i'm gonna do is kind of cut this back grind uh grind this down to where I, wherever i have to to get it to where it's not like rotted out and then i'm just gonna tack a piece here and put, push it back behind here right back here it's kind of starting to rust out so i'm gonna have to do something back there but yeah they're patterned I ended up cutting this out too because it had a little bit of rot at the floor. So that's gone. What I got going on right now is so much like shit packed in behind this here. So I ended up cutting this out so I can get in there with a the grinder. Now you can kind of see back there. It's gonna take all that rust deposit off. None of it's really rotted, so that's good. This piece seems pretty solid here, so I, that's gonna be the part that would be hardest to make anyway. So yeah. All right, so now here's what I ended up doing. Um, that piece right here, still solid, but I couldn't get all the shit off of it with the grinder. So I ended up just cutting it out, kind of left where exactly it went, and right there. So I'm going to end up just packing that back in once you get it all cleaned up. Here it is. As you can tell, there's like a backer on it. For the most part, it's solid, not terrible. It's just all this shit that's uh, kind of attached to it. You can just tell that it's a separate piece of metal there. So what I'm going to do is try to grind all this out and uh, hopefully reuse it. If not, I may have to figure something else out. So I decided that that angle piece just ain't gonna work. So I'm gonna go run up to the uh, the local steel place. It's just like two minutes down the road. So I'm gonna go grab it. They're gonna charge me like 10 bucks or something like that. That's what he said on the phone. It is uh, inch and a half by inch and a half. Hang 90 degrees. So I'm gonna go grab that real quick. And what better vehicle to take than the Jeep? Let's go baby. there 90 i think it's probably an eighth inch we're gonna clean this up uh i'm gonna get it caught where i need it to be oh and i got one more thing um peanut m m's and i got some zincrom uh weldable primer
So, got that one cut. Make sure it's gonna fit real quick for... Oh, that looks fucking too tall. I'm gonna trim it up here a little bit. I got about a 45 degree angle that I gotta cut off of this, so. All right, so I got my piece cut up for this section right here. Um, I got it coated with this uh, Zycon primer. Uh, 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 Zycon primer. So all I gotta do now is tack that up in there. I got a corner piece on here and then finish tacking. Stay tuned and we'll, uh, I'll show you that just here in a second. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm not a professional, all right? But this is uh, kind of my best work so far. Um, that's a little shady for sure down here. I had a little bit too much of uh, that primer stuff on there and it's just spattering and looking like garbage. So I'm gonna continue to drill out these holes and then I'm gonna um, plug weld the backs of these so I can weld um, basically this piece on. I got a new piece, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and get all these grinded down and looking fresh. And hopefully we'll be uh, welding this corner piece on no time. All right, so I got all my holes uh, drilled back behind here and I got this uh, angle uh, tacked in here here and then down here uh, It looks pretty straight as far as I can see it looks good Only thing I got to do now is continue to tack this in grind those welds down plug weld the, uh, the back and then Next I got to cut this uh, This hinge mechanism deal thing off of here and uh, try to reuse it though matches up with this side This side cut out and then I got the panels cut for it. This this piece is for this right here. This piece is for this right here. And then I'm gonna take a piece of angle and uh, weld it in here. You guys will see all that in the next video. This side turned out pretty good, super straight. Didn't even measure it and uh, measured from here over, from here over and it's pretty much exactly the same. So somehow some miracle, I don't even know what happened. I got it straight worked out real well. This side's pretty much done for patchwork. Over here, I have to patch that, and I haven't patched that yet. All right, guys, so I want to thank you very much for sticking with us through this whole video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, like button, comment, blah, 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 and uh, we'll see you in the next one.